In the general spirit of this channel, I was curious about something, so I decided to test it and make a video. In this video, what type of reverb is best for binaural mixing? As I demonstrated in a previous video, reverb is critical to creating a sense of spaciousness and immersiveness when creating binaural content. That raises the question, though, do you need a reverb plugin specifically designed for immersive mixing? It's an important question, as the cost difference can be huge. Exponential Audio, which offers some of the best algorithmic reverbs out there, will sell you a stereo plugin for only 99 bucks. Jumping to a surround sound option will cost you $399, and going to a fully immersive 3D plugin can cost up to $600. It's a similar story for most other companies that sell surround and immersive reverb plugins, and there's many fantastic plugins out there that are only available in stereo. So is it worth the extra money for those less common and more specialized options, or can you get away with just plain old stereo? Without even testing, there's arguments for both. Theoretically, an immersive reverb plugin that could generate a dozen or more uncorrelated reverb channels, including depth and height information, should add a lot of spaciousness to a binaural mix. On the other hand, binaural is still just two channels of audio with a bit of psychoacoustic filtering, so it's possible that having that many channels condensed down will create comb filtering and phase issues that actually hurts the overall immersiveness. Really, the way to determine the answer is just to test it. I've created two tests, one with a piano track being panned around and some hall reverb slapped on, and the other of some magic spells flying around in a cave. Each test has four iterations with different reverb channel counts. It's the exact same plugin throughout, Symphony 3D for the music and Stratus 3D for the magic. The first test is plain old stereo reverb, then we jump to 5.1, so a surround reverb, Next is 714 bus, which gives us height information as well. And lastly, just for kicks, we have a 22.2 reverb bus, which includes height information from below as well as above. Each reverb track, as well as the flying objects, are being converted to third order ambisonics using an IEM encoder. The ambisonics format is then being decoded to binaural using the Deer VR Ambi Micro plugin using the KU100 HRTF. Those are both free plugins, and I'll link them in the description if you'd like to use them. I'll play back both tests, and we can come back to evaluate the results. Again, these tests are in a binaural format, so you'll have to wear headphones for the full experience. So what I wasn't expecting was almost no difference. In fact, it was such a small difference that I decided to switch the labels to reverse order. We actually heard the stereo first and the 22.2 last. If you caught that, good on you. If not, any difference you heard was probably mostly psychological. Feel free to go back and re-listen. If you want to listen to full quality versions of those samples, those are available to my Patreon supporters. Supporters at the sound effects tier can also download the magic samples I used. I did notice a small increase in spaciousness with the higher channel counts, but it's not enough that I was confident that it wasn't just a psychological effect. Since I can't really do a double blind test on myself, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments and what you noticed. Regardless, what I am confident in saying is that it's probably not worth spending several times as much on an immersive plugin if all you're doing is binaural mixing. 
That said, if you do channel-based content as well and already have a surround or immersive plugin, there is likely no harm in using it for binaural content as well, and possibly a slight benefit. Anyway, that's it for this video. If you like this video, if you learned something new, hit that like button. If not, feel free to hit the dislike button. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those down in the comment section down below. And as always, if you want to see more videos like this one, including some upcoming videos on uh, more in-depth on Ambisonic's binaural production, hit that subscribe button.